Hello, everybody in Facebook land. This is Sean from Enchanted Tiki Talk with. So, everybody out there in Facebook land, if you have any questions, please let us know. We will be available to answer them. But before we get into that, um, you know, random, just a random thought has, has occurred to me. When we get together in November, what do you think the first Friday, if we're, we're all getting together, I, th I think, I don't know, was it Epcot the first time? What should the first ride be that we all ride together? Which Living with the land. What, what's our fast pass? I don't even know. <laughs> our fast pass is test track, I think. At like nine, maybe? Are we going to be up in time? <laughs> no. We're all sharing one room. And Sean's hoping we're all sharing one bed. Well, we are, I thought. Well, I've, got, <laughs> I've got two personal alarm clocks I'm taking with me, so I, I know I'll be up. Yeah, you won't have a problem. Nah. Hello, Justine. Just recently back from Walt Disney World, I believe. Love By a couple days. So, um... Yeah, test tracks first, 9, 10 a.m. 9, 10 a.m. for test track, which which isn't a bad time. But, I mean, if, if we want to do soaring, we can go shoot soaring right away, aim for 9 o'clock and hit soaring at 9, and then do test track afterwards because soaring won't have much of a line. Right. You know, 9 o'clock is a great time to get on there. You have much of a line at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, she's been home a week. What's up, Kyle? Keith, can you hear us yet? Keith's still in the green room. I guess he still can't hear us. He's probably just watching us on Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah, he's just going to Facebook Live in and comment and heckle us. Yeah, I think so. So to get back, uh, I think I think we talked about it either in the news last week. Um, you know, Bob Iger, who is finally said he's going to step down in 2019, what are you guys' thoughts on the the job that he has done since coming on board? Oh, he's probably been one of the best that we've had. Well, it depends on what, how you're looking at it. I mean, he's done really great at acquiring, you know, other companies. Um, right. He definitely hasn't been a an Eisner and built parks or anything other than out in you know Avatar. So. I, I mean, no, but I think he's been instrumental in bringing those brands of Marvel and Star Wars into the parks too, though. So not only oh, did he yeah, get I mean, the brands, but he's growing them as well. Stockholders definitely are, are thankful for him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he hasn't really had any original ideas. He's just bought, you know, IPs right. that that has grown the company. I mean, I understand they purchasing Marvel was huge for Disney and then getting Star Wars was, was an absolute big bonus because they needed something that would generate more toy sales or have more interest in the boy segment That's because Disney is known for its princesses. We all know that. So then purchasing Marvel and, and having Star Wars is just has not only captured the, the interest of the boys out there, but has grown the audience for, for the females as well. So right. it's done a great job on both ends. I guess I just wish there was a little more attention to the parks. I mean, yes, he's been, you know, stuffing dollar bills as fast as he can go in everybody's pockets, but the parks just seem like they've been, you know, lacking, uh, especially Walt Disney World. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to see, you know, Avatar when, when we get there in a couple of weeks and then what they're going to do with Star Wars and, you know, Toy Story, but outside of that you know it's it's been you know it just hasn't been a whole lot done or attention to the parks you know while he's you know been in his position well see i'm not a big fan of of, of Iger just because with with him being in there the cost of everything has gone up True. but he has done a lot. my dreams well i'm glad um <laughs> um he has done. He really has done a lot to the parks. Maybe not as much as we would have hoped, but you have to look at what he has added to the parks. Except really, except for Epcot. But when it comes to Magic Kingdom, I and mean, you have a whole new land essentially that was just sitting vacant. You know, the, with the new Fantasyland coming into play, 
studios now having Star Wars and Toy Story Land, which is something we never thought would happen. Granted, going to studios now is isn't very exciting because there's not much to do, you know, for as being at a full day park. And then you have Animal Kingdom that brought on Pandora. So, I mean, Pand- Animal Kingdom should. I think that Pandora just had too few rides. It definitely should have had more rides, more attractions. But Animal Kingdom in itself needs more attractions, as does Epcot right. at this point. Epcot needs three more attractions easily. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, I don't. I don't think he's he's leaving ship. I think it's that he's waiting. I think he wants to wait until Star Wars Land opens up because he. That's his baby. I, I'm looking at Star Wars as his baby. He brought Star Wars right. on from, you know, he bought it from George Lucas, and he got all the he got everybody back interested in, in the Star Wars franchise. And having that added to the parks is a huge bonus. And I think, I, I think for he's not abandoning ship. I just think that he he knows that like that's that's he's not going to go any higher than that. That's that's his plateau. He's going to start his presidential campaign. Yeah, yeah, it's po- political. His political hopes there, um, but I, I think with that, I, I think the Disney company once start once he leaves is going to be completely different. I think you might see some downside, a downswell to Disney because I think that they're always planning for now and they're not planning for the future per se. I said it last time when we started talking about this. He's pulling a bet, Brett Favre. He's already done that. Oh, I'm I'm out of here, guys. And then, no, right. gonna, hey, hang on and wait to see when this finishes. I I'll believe it when I see it. Just like right. I yeah. went for. He'll be back. Um, hey, Kenton, thanks for joining us. Um, Jesse, what's up? If anybody has any questions, sure, go ahead and 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 leave them there. You know, we'll certainly let match, me, mention it. Let me ask you guys this because I have found. It was some random article I was reading, and we've all seen the trailer for Star Wars. I think we've all bought tickets for either opening day or soon afterwards. Right. There is an actual petition floating around. I can't remember the guy's name, but he's had almost 5,000 signatures. He is asking Disney to take J.J. out of the picture because... You know, they were all promised this new Star Wars land, and he's stating that all that J.J. did was recycle the original trilogy and that he can't have that kind of, you know, un, well, uncreativity is not a not a word at all, but you know, <laughs> n- not being creative and just... Nope. No originality. Yeah, exactly. Right. And he's had all these people sign this petition. So obviously he's missing something because, I mean, that, I mean, they crushed the box office with that movie yeah. so, i mean I, I haven't heard many people have issues with jj or what he did with the movie what, what are y'all's thoughts on that no uh, like you said i think the guys missed something you know i can understand i can understand the first one that they did with the force awakens i think it was kind of a hard film to to put together because you don't want to alienate your old your original Star Wars fans, and you you still want to make it fresh enough for new fans as well as some of the old fans. So I think I think that took the right approach. I, I think coming into the second film is where I'll try to get a better understanding of where the saga lies because the whole series is supposed to be based on the the Skywalker family. I, and at this point, I just don't know which, how far in that they're going. You know, with the Skywalkers, is Ray a Skywalker? Right. We just don't know yet. So soon enough, we'll know. We'll know that what everybody is. But I, I just don't know what the direction is after this one. I'll have a better, better idea. I just don't like the idea of everyone being killed off. I mean, I've heard rumors where Luke Skywalker is going to be killed off, and Leia is. I'm pretty sure Leia will be killed off. But she um, if, been, I mean, yeah, if Luke is killed off, has to be. Yeah, Luke is killed off. You just killed. You've destroyed my childhood. You know, I grew up with right. these characters. I, I just Everything don't we've ever been led to believe is false. Right, exactly. I just Aaron doesn't see it as a recycle at all. I, I want to see Chewbacca rip the arms off some guy. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the old days. So Kenton says not only he did recycle four with five, but he also did Star Trek nine. Just saying. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I can certainly see some of that. It's just right. you're coming into the day and age where nobody has any original ideas anymore. That's why so many TV shows are being rehashed because they can't come up with new ideas. And Every and, new show, every new movie is not new. They're all remakes. Right, exactly. And, um, and I wonder how much of this really falls on J.J.'s shoulders. I mean, how much was they saying, okay, look, this is the idea we want to go with, and off you go. Right. Um, Jordan, yeah, I, sorry we left you there. We just we just got pretty we just got pretty busy the last couple of years, so I'm sorry. Yeah, um, at least it's Brian, a comfortable place to be. Yeah, Brian uh, Brian Mader says, "Have you all been to the world of Avatar? I know Sean and Never Scott heard of have. It. <laughs> How do you feel about Star Wars Land based on your opinion on Pandora?" I'll um, say I'm excited to see it, and I haven't seen Pandora yet. I mean, just from the reactions that everybody has that has been there i'm already excited for star wars so i mean they've set the bar high but you know it kind of makes me a little more excited to go see it yeah i mean we look at what concept art was for what the concept art was for pandora you look at the concept art for star wars you know they they pretty much kept true to pandora so if we get anything close to what concept art looks like for star wars it, it's going to be absolutely incredible the thing with the Star Wars is I was, as so many fans out there, were hoping that we were going to step into the real world of Star Wars, whether it was going to be Tantooine or Hoth. That's what everybody was hoping because we grew up. I, I grew up on those films. And that's the right. Star Wars world that I wanted to step into and walk into. So I think they kind of sort of cheap the cheap way out, the easy way out, because they wanted to have the Imagineers um, – have anything go with the new world. So the Imagineers aren't just stuck with one idea or one position. They could do whatever they wanted. So I, I think it's a little bit of a cop out in that way, but I am looking forward to what it will be. I just hope that it's certainly taken to the next level of, um, of Pandora. I, I just, I, I'm hoping that I step into there and I feel like I'm in star Wars, you know, as so many people say about, um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They feel like they stepped into the movie. I want to feel that with Star Wars. Right. Hello, Ashley. Hi, Tiki Man. She means just uh, me, I think. Um, Aaron said, how long was Pandora's opening delayed? I'm hoping they don't do the same with Star Wars with the amount of detail they're adding to it. I don't know that the land was delayed. Obviously, the movies have been delayed like 10 years, but I don't think the land was ever delayed from when we knew the, the actual opening. I don't remember. I, was, I don't know if it was delayed. It just took them forever. It just took them seven years to build it, but I don't know yeah. that it was ever – we just never knew a date, but I, I don't know that we were ever given a date and then it wasn't met. Yeah, I know I saw – I think it was on WDW Magic. Uh, there were some permits that were filed – for new work on Star Wars land. And they were saying based on those permits, they're guessing at late September of 2019 for Star Wars land. Yeah. Which is crazy. I mean, Toy Story is opening summer of 2018. So right. just a year after that. Yeah. They're saying Disney world's late 2019. So I would be surprised if it's like the week before Christmas, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Um, Let's hope not. But yeah. And Justine, yeah, I'm excited for some of the droids that they're testing out as well. You know, getting back to the droids, like I was hoping for the meet and greet with BB-8 was a little, a little better than what it was as opposed to just BB-8 standing on there. And I, I think with what they're testing, I, I think it's going to be totally more interactive. The droids are going to be running around. People will be able to interact with it. And that's what I wanted with BB, and that's what I'm sure we're going to get with uh, Star Wars Land. Right. Which, speaking of, and I, I forgot to bring this up on one of our new shows, when we were at Hollywood Studios last week, I don't know if it's ever really been announced or if anyone's ever said anything, but they do not have the Jawas walking around anymore. Yeah, I can't believe that. I was kind of bummed by that, because yeah. I remember Keith or uh, Sean, we tried trading a diaper with them. Trading the diaper, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> they they yeah. wouldn't allow that one. But yeah, we were actually, bummed that we didn't get to see them. Yeah, actually, the Rivers of Light, I know the Rivers of Light was delayed. I don't know how many people out there have seen Rivers of Light, but I wasn't a huge fan of Rivers of Light. I watched it on, I know my trip report will be coming out next week, and I talk about um, Happily Ever After. And when I originally saw Happily Ever After, I wasn't really, 
a big fan of it. I didn't think it was that great, uh, but I wanted to really have more judgment when I saw it. Um, but when I saw Rivers of Light on the live stream, I just, that one I know I would not like if I, I saw it in person. Granted, it looks nice, but the music wasn't really getting to me. Um, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where a lot of people are just like, yeah, it's okay. So I didn't want to make a special, I didn't want to make a special trip, take my time out of Pandora to go see it. I, I don't know if I'm going to go out of my way to see it. I mean, I've got a limited you know, number of days I'm there and it's really not high up my list to go. I mean, I'll eventually will see it if it's still there, but it's not high up my list to go check out. Yeah. Um, Aaron, when do you guys think a nighttime parade will return to Magic Kingdom? It's got to return. Um, the, rumor, the, the rumors I hear is the 50th. I just hope it's not that long because every time I'm there at night, I, I sorely miss a nighttime parade. It doesn't matter if it was Main Street Electrical Parade. I love Spectral Magic. That is definitely my favorite, but I grew up on Main Street, but I prefer Spectral Magic. I would take either one back in a heartbeat. No, no clowns. <laughs> the clowns are great, and they're not really clowns. Let's, they're just the faceless men. Creepy. Yeah, creepy, faceless men. Um, Ashley Weathers asked, when is the new Margarita stand going to open in Mexico? Mm-hmm. Ashley, people are saying it's going to be last year. I can tell you on good word that it will be this year and hopefully soon. That's as much as I'm really going to say on that one. Uh, David Benter said, how about a parade for Star Wars Land? Well, no. that's easy. They could just bring the current parade that they have at studios and just have the stormtroopers march in there. No, what they should do is have like the um, the opening scene of A New Hope with the sand people with the big, huge elephant-looking things as they're going, walking through the desert and, and all that kind of stuff. That's what they should do for the parade. Right. Or have like a thousand Chewbacca's walking around. <laughs> a thousand Chewbacca's. <laughs> That it's wouldn't not, be creepy. I said the planet's not Kashyyyk. No, but they can make it. Um, no other questions there. Um, so anybody who's watching right now, you're going to get a, a, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but um, I have a sneak peek of uh, Trader Sam's Christmas bug that's coming out. I don't know how well everybody can see it. Um, it's not coming out until November 1st, but you're actually getting a sneak peek at it right now. Trader Sam's in red for the holidays. And brew your happy place. Check that out. And for anybody who's watching right now, uh, tell you what, I'm gonna give away. I'm gonna give away a free bag of coffee. It's the happily, happily. ever after. You guys can see that there. It's the New Orleans, New Orleans Praline. Uh, where's my camera? Move it. Other way. There we go. There we go. <laughs> happily ever after from Trader Sam's. I'll give you guys a. I'll give you a chance to win a free, free bag of coffee. Um, anybody who's commenting on here tonight will have a chance to win a bag of coffee. So, hold on, let um, me send a comment. Not for Snot Scott, though. Did you say Snot Scott? Snot Scott. Snot Scott. Snot Scott. Snot yeah. Let me backspace out of my comment then. What do you think is going to happen to Star Wars fireworks when the land opens? They'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I wonder if they're going to have more projection. Mm, not in Star Wars Land. I don't know that that land, the way it's being built, I don't know that it'll have the capabilities for it. Yeah, that I don't know. Probably not. But can't they have like a Death Star come up like out of the ground or something like that and project <laughs> onto there? Well, that's Epcot. That's the right. Well, Just do all studio. holographics. I'll say, remember when the studios first opened, they had the big inflatable Sorcerer Mickey that would come up behind the Chinese theater. <laughs> Over the that's Chinese right. theater. Yeah, Just, that's true. Just blow up a huge you know, Death Star. Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. A Wookiee Parade. Dave likes that. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, Keith, Keith, he wants to be on so badly right now, but he's having audio problems. He can't hear us. So in the, the green room, I can see him popping up and disappearing, pop, popping up and disappearing. It's the funniest <laughs> thing. I'm surprised he's not, like, Hulk smashing his computer right now. <laughs> he probably is. Yeah, he, he is. <laughs> <laughs> why is Scott? Why is why is Scott on the show? Is that what your question is, there, Mike? Yes, that's what he opposed that earlier, and I told him he had to tune in to get an answer. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> We're not sure. He's paying us really well. Uh oh. 
I've been interrupted by two kids waving and smiling at me. You're calling for mama. <laughs> It's not two kids. <laughs> it's not two thirty yet. They said there's not two kids here. Shouldn't your kids be in bed? It's like ten o'clock at night. <laughs> they were. I don't know why they're out here. Yeah, maybe trying to get you. Oh, they were trying to get me. Yeah. That's. Oh. <laughs> Can't you tell me the boogeyman is coming? Yeah. What ADR so, do you guys have it, coming up for your trip? Any new places you're looking? See, say hi. Hi. All right. He looked at me. He did look at you. Yeah, he's scary. Don't look at him back. He'll like uh -oh. make your eyes bleed and they'll go to fire. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one ADR, and that's with um, a family dinner that we're doing. Um, I'm doing Ohana with everybody. There's like 37 of us, I think, or 16. Um, whatever is better. We, yeah. We've got the whole place rented out. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we're doing um, Ohana as a group. Um, Keith has got a whole bunch of ADRs, but uh, he's not on right now. And Matt, you have a couple as well. Yeah, I've got Sina, which will be my first play, first time there. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we're doing Boma, and looking forward to that. And then Ohana, that's really – so that's all I've got. We're kind of just going to wing it the rest of the time we're there. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to spend a lot more time exploring World Showcase and eating around the world there. You know, I didn't get a chance on my last trip to to have many things, so I'm going to give that more of a try. Are you waving? Uh, Just Brian, here, let me ask, cover. Scott, are you okay from your run-up to Swiss, Swiss Family Treehouse with me from the live show? I didn't think you were going to be able to finish the episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one thought I was going to be able to finish that one. No. He's still with me. Um, Alan, is Keith being replaced? No, he's just trying to get his audio. Yeah. And actually, um, we saw you wave. Don't worry about it. We have cameras everywhere. We saw you. <laughs> yeah, you, you you don't know what we can see and what we what we can't see. And Mike Ohana, that is actually. It could be good. It could be bad. So sometimes it's Matt and sometimes it's, yeah. Um, uh, hopefully it's a good one when we go there. Cause I've been there when the food was cold or they didn't come back to us other times. No <laughs> creeps. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just get enough alcohol in us before. So we won't know if it's good or bad. So yeah, just drink a couple of lapus and you'll be fine. Yeah. Some lapus, two of them will be good. Yeah, I'll definitely throw two down. It's I can easily do two, maybe five. Sean be double fisting the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> The problem is because when you go to Ohana's and you're having a, a lapu lapu, you're always thinking about going downstairs to Trader Sam's and enjoying your drinks down there too. You're like, wait, I can have one here, or I can go down to Trader Sam's and have some in the in the funky bar. Get the spiky pineapple and take it up with us, Brian. Oh, how the tables have turned now. Who has a screaming kid, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> yep. The back scratch in Ohana. Justine, do they still give you the back scratcher there? Like the literal yes. back scratcher with it? Do they do? I'm sure they do. Yes. I want to say I saw a picture of one the other day. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely going to know this. I don't know what happened to Keith. He's still not back yet. Um, he's trying to blow his laptop up right now. Oh, yeah, he's, I think he's rebooting. I told him to reboot. Right. Now we have a love fest going on in the, the chat over here. <laughs> um, and don't forget, if you want to get a free bag of coffee – just comment in the the comment section, no matter what the comment is. You know, you can always say that Sean is the best tiki bird and you have a better chance of winning. I <laughs> knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Those entries will be disqualified. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, oh come on, Mike. Making a Dole Whip probably. He might. I don't know if he's – I think he's out of the Dole Whip mix, I think. He's making Swedish meatballs. Oh, yeah. What's the fancy Swedish meatballs he likes? Audio revolvers ran out of liquor going to store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Did yeah. you ever say? Actually, actually, I've got everything. I have not made it to a post office while it's been opened because I've got a custom mail. So it's going to actually be shipped um, overnight to you. I'll have to figure out which date it is, but probably this Saturday. Wait, yeah, you, that's you the 36th anniversary. You yeah, you'll have it by the 36th. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Every there's actually going to be some extra swag in there, too, because of it. So. 
Ooh. You said you haven't made it to the post office when it was open. Do you go when it's closed? <laughs> That's the only yes. time he goes is when I've seen I can only go there when it's closed, and then I just sit there and bang on the window. And... He drives up. I see him drives up and walks up the door like, oh, it's closed again. <laughs> um, what Disney movie do you wish was better represented in the parks? Fantasia. You know what? I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna go with Moana. Oh, completely. I, but I think it's too a, new for them to have anything yeah. that's going to be done properly. I don't say that's probably in the works. Um, well, if you're with the go, talks of them taking over Tiki Room with it, I'm actually going to go and say Lion King. You think so? Yeah, I mean, because what is what you have the recycling show. Based on the Lion I was King, say, don't forget that one. The Lion King. And then you have the stage show, which it, it's a good show, but I think that the Lion King should have been used a lot more in Animal Kingdom. I mean, you've got Kilimanjaro Safari; it's one and the same because it has I animals. Guess. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, it's well, in Africa. Princess and the Frog. That's a good one too. I mean, that's yes. easily they could have added. It. They can add another land to the Magic Kingdom and make it New Orleans Square, sort of like Disneyland. But I'm one of those. I've always said, tear, tear out the Speedway. You put in a Tiana's Place restaurant with a boat ride that goes through, similar to Pirates in California. That's a great idea. I totally I think it would be the coolest thing there, and they've got the space for it. I agree. With that to, yes, to a thousand Chewbacca's. <laughs> that was like 15 minutes ago. I love it. Robin Hood. Yeah, that would be a good one. Probably if they would have yeah. gone with the original idea of the new fantasy land, they probably could have done that. Yeah, and the only thing with Robin Hood, as much as I would like to see it, does it really have enough of a following to justify you know some type of an attraction? Um well there's one there and Keith, there's two. I mean we we don't even have their characters. You have to go on their you know, rare occasion. What was right. the special thing that they ran a couple of years ago? The meet meet the friends that never come out or whatever. And right down and out in Beverly Hills. <laughs> but look, look at this one. Alan goes, "We'll probably get a reskin of Living with the Land from Moana because there's water and sand." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure really, someone from that movie went to Epcot it, before. It really fits in there, though. He's, he's on to a good point there. It really does fit in because everything was dying, <laughs> right, in the movie. And they had to go get Tafiti's heart. And once they found Tafiti's heart, everything came back alive. So they could use that. Like, they could make it like you add in water and all the nutrients and everything comes back to life. Look at that. It's Don't easy. give them ideas. I know, right? Don't touch that land. Um, up. Justine said up is a good idea for – yeah, that'd be a, you could do that. I mean, that's probably an attraction that would be uh, screen based, though. I think. I don't know. I think that'd be the perfect place in Animal Kingdom to put it in the a whole South America area. Yeah, you could do that. Ernest goes to camp. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe the maybe the Christmas one would fit better at um, Hollywood Studios. You could bring Ernest's house back. <laughs> Living with Land was built for Moana, at least the press release will say. Up is a great Pixar movie. It certainly is. Yeah, once you get done crying through the first 20 minutes of it. <laughs> right. True. You know what I mean, Vern? The characters that time forgot. Um, need more Doug. Yeah, Doug is a great character. I love him. It's a fun meet and greet. Yep. Did we miss anything over there? I don't think so. Nothing yet. Big Hero 6. You know, I still haven't seen True. that film. I have not seen it yet. I haven't seen it either. <clears throat> my, what? Wife and my son's watched it several times, and it's like I always... That's when we, had, get when we had Streets of America, that would have been the perfect place for him to build a San Francisco and do something right. back there with it. Um, I I don't know if you guys were part of like the Disney movies anywhere, whatever it was, and they... You know, when it was linked to iTunes and everything, but they changed it to which I think is Disney or it's Movies Anywhere now. Or it's yeah, yeah, movies Disney everywhere. Movies Anywhere. Yeah, Movies Anywhere. When you link up with a new account, I got a free copy of Big Hero Six. 
Oh, nice. So, and you still haven't watched it. And it's not, well, I was just like the other day. <laughs> so no. with, having to record with everybody, I'll, um, I'll get to watch that probably next year, maybe. Yeah, I know it's great. Everybody <laughs> says it's great, and I want to watch it. I just have not had a chance to watch it because my kids aren't going to watch it. My wife isn't really interested in watching it, so now I have to watch it by myself. Now I have to find time to watch it by myself. So Your son stop recording, go watch it, and tell me how the science fair is not in Epcot. <laughs> I do, maybe I could just start watching it now. Is that going to be uh, from, what was it, with the uh, bowler hat guy? Meet the mm-hmm. Robinsons? Right. I want to bring Doug to my Disney World Resort. Justine, you actually can bring Doug now. Yes, you can. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm trying to think what other... You know what I still haven't seen is um, the the Scottish, the Scotland one. It's, uh, it's Brave. Brave, Brave. I haven't yeah, I haven't seen, seen that one either. Yet. I haven't seen it. Just slipped through. Can't get Kelsey to watch it. That's a good one. Yeah, I've not watched that one yet. I'm trying to think what else other movies I haven't seen. Yeah, I should probably go through eighty-five percent of the Marvel movies. I like the Marvel <laughs> movies. Most I, of them, anyway. They're all the same to me. Agreed. You don't get it. Well, I didn't grow. I mean, I read some of the comics, but I wasn't all into the comics. I, well, I just haven't found one. Everybody just raves about how great they are. I haven't found one that's really like blown me away. I will say, um. The first Guardians was good, and um, what was the last one? Civil War. That was pretty good, but the rest of them, I'm just me. Eh. Uh, just to go off for a second, I, I see Matt sitting on the couch. That kills is great. Great Mouse Detective was good as well. Um, I'm thinking like Matt sitting there, like he needs like the plastic covering his couch to protect it. <laughs> That's, I don't know, for some reason, it's just like popping into my head. I took it off for this, okay? That, is that what it was? Yes. No, the yeah, first, first Iron Man was not solid. No, the first Iron Man was good. No, no, it was not. <laughs> you know, I liked it. Like the first Captain America, I liked I liked a lot, but it, it just felt like it was missing something for me. I wanted to like really love it. I liked it, but I don't know what it was. It was just missing something. I haven't watched the new DuckTales either. Have you guys watched any of those? No. Yeah, I've watched all of them. It's it's good, but you you can't go into it trying to compare it to the original Ducktales because it's a completely different style of animation. Is it? Yeah. I haven't even seen anything on it, it yet. It's almost like the new Mickey cartoons you see, where it doesn't even resemble them, and it's like a whole new type of two D altogether. I'm not a right. huge fan of it, but it's still good. I mean, it still has the same story, everything else to go with it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the new Mickey animations at all. No. I don't like it. That's not my Mickey. No. Let's not forget Blade, best Marvel Marvel movie ever. <laughs> See, I like Blade. Blade's that, good. That was before Disney had their hands on Marvel, so right. Well, I'll take that. Back. Blade was good. Two and three was just horrible. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember those much. I don't. I, I know I've seen them, but I, 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 I wouldn't be able to remember them at all. Yeah, but, yeah the first one was good. Hi, Tim. Game-changing movie. I, I know a lot of people say that. Nah, I wouldn't go to it now. It just didn't. I mean, it was like a whole lot of story, big fight scene in the movie. Uh, it just it just didn't do do much for me. Right. <laughs> Red and Stimpy, Mickey. That's totally right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is so true. <laughs> yeah, legally, it is your Mickey because the old one is going away. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, that's apparently of what I've been hearing is because of the uh, with the copyright issue. Is why they're changing the that's style. The worst character. <laughs> didn't Scott? Didn't you cry when Jar Jar got killed? No, I oh, killed him myself. Die? No, he didn't die. Ant Man was really good too. I thought Man- Ant Man was excellent. No, I <laughs> Show Girls, Girls too. Two was a, was a classic. It was. A it classic. was a second one. I have no idea. Uh, I don't. I don't want to know how Mike knows. <laughs> He's got to have that in his TV. I want to know a lot of things that Mike knows. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, I figured as much. I can't believe poor Mickey. 
<laughs> What's up, Jeff? When are you going back to Disney World or Disneyland? Evangeline Williams lost. I still wish that they would have that rumor happened. They built Lost Island on uh, Discovery Island there. That would have been cool. All right, so here's a question for you guys. What is the next franchise you'd like to see Disney buy? I know there's been a lot of talks about Lord of the Rings of who's going to get it, Universal Disney. What would be one that you would like them to get? I mean, Lord of the if they got Lord of the Rings, that would be great. Never but seen any of them. I did not like the Hobbit films. I was not a fan of the Hobbit films. I just... It was just too much going on. I couldn't get invested into the characters as much. So, Game of Thrones. I, yeah, Game of Thrones cannot work with Disney. Yeah, Game of Thrones cannot be <laughs> Disney. No, not That'd a be an entirely new park. <laughs> but Off property. Wanted, yeah, would I want to go to a Game of Thrones park? Yeah, but that won't happen. Um, but I don't want to see... I don't want to see new parks, I new, uh, new franchises that they purchase. I want to see original ideas. At least Pirates was an original idea for Disney. Whether you have liked all the films or not, at least it was their own intellectual property and they didn't purchase right. it. All right, so is there any – I know we said like animated, but is there any other Disney movie or Disney franchise you'd like to see them expand on? You know, like Even Indiana Jones. Everybody dies in the Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go, you go there to end. Um, any like films? Of, of course, Jeff chimes in with "Give me more." See, yeah. <laughs> um, Anything from Tokyo? We don't even know if he was rolling near there. There's no pictures. Tron. I'm not a big fan of Tron. Tron's coming to the parks anyway. Right. The the first one was. It was okay. The second one, I did not like at all. I just never was a big fan for a uh, fan of uh, Tron. I just... Yeah, I'm just the opposite. I liked the second one. Now, granted, I didn't see the first one until a couple years ago, and <laughs> it was very dated, so it wasn't as good. But I, I enjoyed the second one. Right. I would love to see Napoleon Dynamite with a cafeteria that just serves tater tots. I, I'm pretty sure that's what, whole, what what it's like now in the parks anyway. And then you do Glamour Shots by Deb. And then you can pet Tina and feed her some ham. And have Uncle Rico throwing footballs. <laughs> throwing footballs. <laughs> there we go. There's an entire new land just for Napoleon Dynamite. Justine, I think, unfortunately, I think you're going to see a lot more remakes coming in the future. I, I guarantee that there's going to be a splash remake in the not-so-distant future. You, you know that's going to be coming because there's no original ideas left. Oh, Jeff, he said, no, Tokyo reference intended just like the storyline. Carousel of Progress, the movie. That I think could that would done. actually be cool. That, that could be done right, too. Like, the, the Tomorrowland film, I like the Tomorrowland film. The ending just kind of, they dropped the ball on the ending. I think that maybe that's a movie that they should try to reapproach and redo something with. But the whole thing, the whole story with John Favreau that was going to do the Magic Kingdom movie, remember he was going to do that, which was right. basically the park coming alive, like uh, the Smithsonian film. I forget what it was called. Um, Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum. Museum. Sort of like the Magic Kingdom that was going to happen. I want that. Right. I want that to happen. That's like that's a franchise right there that can that three films easily you could do if it's done right. Well, what's the um, the book Kingdom Keepers? Kingdom that whole, yeah, yeah. That's the per. That's the. This even if they did a a Disney TV movie, I can't believe they haven't done that yet. At the very least, is a Disney right. TV movie. Why not? Aren't they do still something like that? The, the Jungle Cruise movie or whatever. Well, there was talks of that, and there's also talks of something with the goat from um, Big Thunder Mountain. I mean, like Disney even created a a, a Twitter account for the goat and they went and did all stuff and it became a verified account and then just like stopped. Yeah, I didn't even know that. But I think Jungle Cruise movie, if I'm not mistaken, that one's still going because The Rock is in that. But didn't and you sit out Tim Allen and um, who's Woody? Um, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. And, and that when it started out, the rumors were with a Jungle Cruise with them in it and then you get The Rock. Yeah. How about going one end to the other? Right, exactly. 
No, I don't remember that, Jesse. Adventures in Magic I do. Kingdom. Do you? I don't. Yeah. Steven says, bring back Walt Disney Presents. That'd be, that would be good. That would be good. <laughs> Photo pass replacing by Grand 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 Yes. Adventures Club could be a total series. All their different adventures in each character. Yeah. Sort of like, um, what's that, the game where the professor was killed in? Clue. Clue, yeah. Sort of like that style right. Adventures Club, maybe. You have to get Joe Rody as one of the characters in it, though. I still say that they should give Eddie Murphy another shot at the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> You know, I haven't seen that movie yet. Why don't we remake uh, Tower of Terror with it, too, then? Well, that's a classic. That's another one I still haven't seen. <laughs> I mean, Steve Gutenberg. Right. <laughs> and was it Kirsten Dunst? Was the, the his daughter or whatever? Oh, I, I can't watch it, then. I don't like her. But this was, like, before... I mean, this was, like, a straight-to-TV movie that... Oh, uh, okay. How about a remake of Hocus Pocus just for Matt? I, I was never a fan of that one. I'd have to see uh, the first one, though. I know Alan was a big fan of that. Alan and I used to talk about it all the time. Then we would give Matt so much crap for it. That's I think it shows up like at my time hop like every week of us talking about... Really? <laughs> I just feel like I'm too old for that because I never saw it when I was a kid. And I've tried to watch it a couple of times. I'm just like, this is dumb. Yeah, Get your kids to start watching it now and they'll they'll appreciate it when you're older and they'll look at you and question why. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, with the cast of the Police Academy. Man, the eighties had some great films. You know what? You know what Disney should buy? Honestly, Go- the Goonies franchise. <laughs> I was watching that the other night. Who wouldn't want to walk into the world of Goonies and, and see the big pirate ship and all pirate that? Pirate ship, yeah. yeah. Mad Willie. <laughs> I want to do the water slide that they do, like when they're going through the caves and come out right at the pirate ship. Uh huh. Yep. Um, yes. Ashley says she just Rick found Flair out that Space Mountain. <laughs> Terror Terror isn't Tower of Terror isn't based directly off a specific Twilight Zone episode. Oops. Yes, that's correct. Thanks for spoiling it for us. <laughs> TV series based on the Jungle Navigation Company LTV. Revive the Truffle Shuffle. <laughs> I love the Truffle Shuffle. <laughs> That is that is classic though. That is good. I, I still that's like one of those films where it's been rumors that they're going to make a sequel for such a long time, but I still love for it to happen. What's that? Goonies? Yeah. yeah. There is a Goonies too. No, oh, there's the not. Video game. Yes, there is. Oh, the game, video game. No, there's a movie Goonies too. No, there's not. To the IMDb's. I don't even know what the show Ghost Rider is, Sarah. Really? Sarah is in Australia. Hasselhoff. Is it Hasselhoff? You saw him in concert, right, Scott? <laughs> He's got all his albums like framed on yeah. the wall. Here, we're going to see. I'm going to try to bring um, Keith in. Let's see if he can hear. Never seen the Goonies, but I've met Chuck. Awesome. awesome. Goonies 2. Yeah. Where is it? There he is. Can you hear us, Keith? Nope. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) Well, Keith's gone. (laughs) He couldn't hear us. He had that same blank stare. I was like, can you hear us? (laughs) He's trying. He's trying real hard. He's he's been trying for a while. He's dedicated. At least go on and and give us some questions, Keith. Just, Tell just me, like, get some paper and write out the answers. Yes, yes. <laughs> just write down just, some random statements and just... Justine, how could you have not ever seen Goonies? Dan hasn't made you watch it yet? I mean, come on. Yes, that's one you need to stop and go watch right now. Yeah, that's definitely... Like Keith's trying to come back again. $50 bill? $50 bill? <laughs> <laughs> I love that film. Um, I, so get back on. Let's try to get back on some sort of topic here. Um, 
if you were to take an attraction from, let's say, Magic Kingdom and place it in Animal Kingdom, which attraction do you think would best fit there? The treehouse. Yeah, I mean, you've got Treehouse, Jungle Cruise. Well, either the Jungle Cruise, that would be probably the best thing because you can have the actual animals. Yeah, actual animals. I was going to say, yeah, do it like Walt originally wanted with animals. Right. In Real animals in it. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. How do you. Th so let's just say you're at the Magic Kingdom and you could turn Tom Sawyer's li Island in Liar. Tom Sawyer's Island into anything. What would you turn it into? Um, I would do like they have in Disneyland Paris and make it part of Big Thunder. Or go Tokyo Disneyland and do 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and have that as your island start off and then do the ride through the rivers of America. Do you think they could turn it into Moana Island? I mean, that would be a huge undertaking. It would be a, a theming. Yeah, it, I, I don't know that it would match because you obviously wanted to have that tropical and not nasty brown a boat ride based on the anaconda <laughs> <laughs> oh that's one movie i think we all wanted to forget so can we do that in piranha or island alone when was the last time you were on time sawyer tom sawyer island in walt disney world tell me please now for me it's been several years i wanted to try to get on this trip but it's never it hasn't happened. Hey, Brian. Yeah, I don't even know how many years it's been for me. I, I, I think it's, you know, it's like I said, we, we've talked about in the past. It's a great place to get away from the crowd because it's quiet. There's not many people there. And, you know, I, I just, I think it's perfect for like my son's age, 1989. Um, <laughs> it, it's perfect for kids like five to seven, I think. That's like the perfect age for him. I'm like, I'm there right now. He's not getting off because the last boat was at <laughs> He's sleeping overnight. I wish they would bring back Aunt Polly's. That would be... Yeah. Yes, I, think I completely agree. Getting people over there. Keith, can you hear us yet? If you can, wave. At least wave. Jeffy goes, I go all the time. One of my best Magic Kingdom memories happened on Tom Sawyer Island. He found a paintbrush. Yeah. <laughs> we got a free churro. <laughs> He's got beer. It's okay. <laughs> Root beer, but that's fine. If you could be, if you had to be stranded on one attraction, say for eight hours, which one would you pick? Pirates, without a doubt. Love it. Just because I just want to, I want to walk through there see everything up close. I mean, it takes away some of the magic in a lot of ways. I understand that, but I want to look at every single piece of detail that's in there. I want to, I want to touch the the fabric on there of the, of the clothes. I want to see how everything works. You know, that, that all interests me. You just want to get up close to the redhead. Who wants the redhead, don't we? <laughs> I think yeah. he's done. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. During one of the 24-hour days, my daughter played checkers on TSI for about two hours. So fun. I didn't even know we had kids. Yeah. Jeff, where did you get them? <laughs> who did you take them from? Yeah, who did you take them from, Jeff? No, I knew you. Quantum Mansion. Quantum Mansion is a good one, too. But... I think that would get uncomfortable. Walking around in there or sitting on the sitting the on doom the, buggy. Yeah, the doom buggy. Yeah, but if you're on the going downhill, going in reverse, that's actually pretty comfortable. Oh yeah. Take take a nice nap. I don't I don't I don't know about the safari. I don't think I'd want to do the safari. Sit on there all day long because at some point they're gonna look at me as a nice piece of meat and they're gonna to want to eat me. Yeah. And it's <laughs> animal kingdom hot. Yeah. Yes. Flight, Flight of passage. passage. Mike, I heard your show um, when you talked about Flight of Passage, whether you liked it or not, but I don't remember. Mike, are you near – Are you near? do you have um, the ability for a camera right now, Mike? 
<laughs> Are you gonna throw Mike in this? Yeah, I want to put Mike in here for a few minutes here. If he's if he if he can come on on camera. He loved it. Okay. So I, I just I I would love to talk a little Pandora if he was if he was around. My, my kid, kid threw a fit on flights. He like a Fitbit. Didn't want to ride it? A Fitbit. I think a Fitbit. I, mean, you were, I hope you got the Fitbit back. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his iPhone. I don't know if Be Live will work from that. Not yeah. if it makes us use Chrome on here. Oh, yeah. So you got to ride it back to back? Oh, that's awesome. Like they actually set on the ride vehicle back to back? <laughs> <laughs> I was impressed by Flight of Passage. It really was. I loved it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm curious if I can get my son on it. How tall is he? Well, I, I don't think it's a height requirement. I think it's more of him just being uh, just doing it. Yeah, being brave enough to get on it. I'll take his fast pass. I'll go on. Well, I mean, I've got four. I'll take all four. Know. You don't need to go on it. Okay. Well, you go on by yourself and get the rider swap, and then your wife can go on with your son and she get a rider swap, and I can go on an extra two times. <laughs> it all works out for Sean. It does. I was so impressed with the river journey. So many people, you'll hear it on my trip report, but so many people I, I've heard that say we're not impressed with the river journey, but I was really impressed with it. That was just unbelievable an unbelievable experience i don't want to like talk it up to those people who have not experienced it but it is really well done i could have done without the screens but in some ways the screens adds to it in other ways it does not matt matt do you have a fast pass for the river journey no so what's going to happen on race day? Because the race day is when we're going to Animal Kingdom. Are you staying there to get on and have the family meet you at the park? Or are you going back to the room? Um, probably going back to the room. Are you? The race is at what, 6.30 in the morning? I think it's 6. Um, so I, I don't know. I've got to talk to my wife, and I'm more than likely I'm going back to the room. Um, I mean, since we'll, we'll be staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, so I mean, it's right there. Oh, yeah, you're right there. So I might come back with you and jump in the pool. Okay. Chlorine smells fine. It's better than sweat smell. Well, sweat and chlorine is not good. Well, the sweat will disappear. Somebody swimming later can have my sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not going to be Keith. He's afraid of water. Uh, Brian said, my kids love the river journey. Uh, my family loved it too, but I couldn't get it to go on too short. Yeah, it is too short. Um, I so wish it was you, longer. I would have stayed on that for like an hour. That's like a common theme with yeah. like these new stuff now. It seems to be. Yeah. Everything's too short. That's like why I said they need more attractions in. Uh, hey, Krista, um, they need more attractions in Animal Kingdom. Right. Hello, Krista. So, yeah, I don't know why they didn't put a third attraction for Avatar in there. Like, like I said, they've got the room for it. I think they're waiting until the other movies come out to be able to expand. In 2033? Yes. My DVC will be over in like nine years after that. <laughs> yeah, Stephen, like I say that like Frozen is Imagineering, uh, whatever, what do I say, budgeted Imagineering at its finest, um, valued in Imagineering at its finest. And I still like it. I think it's a great attraction, but it's just, it, they could have done more with it. Scott, now you've had the food in, in Pandora. You had the cheeseburger um, thingamabobber, right? I have. Yeah, haven't you? The pod, um, you had the cheeseburger pod? I've not ordered it. Cooper, we ordered it for, and I had a bite of it, but I've not ordered yeah. it myself, no. To me, it yeah. tasted like a McDonald's cheeseburger, which I haven't had McDonald's in like 10 years, so I, I did not like it. But if you like McDonald's cheeseburgers and like all that, go for it. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't had any food. I had the one drink that they have, the non-alcoholic drink that they have in there. I forget what it's called. Pandora oh, Sunrise, maybe? Oh, it was a Pandora oh, Sunrise. Oh, in, inside Centrally, yes. Yeah, that was good. It comes with the boobla balls. Boobla balls? No, there was no boobla balls in there. 
<laughs> Brian says he thought the meat was mache. Yeah, no, I, I get the bowls. Yeah, I did not have it. I'll, maybe on the next trip in a couple of weeks, yep. I can try it, give it a shot. Who doesn't eat McDonald's for 10 years? <laughs> I don't. Yes, I have not had it. It's actually probably closer to 12 years that I've not had it or longer. Wow. And yeah, uh, I had experience with mustard there. And don't forget for those uh, just joining us, his Trader Sam's Christmas mug that's coming out in uh, the beautiful holiday color red. Brew your happy place. And if you comment, the last time I'm going to say it, you get a chance to win. Comment in the notes here. You have a chance to win a bag of Happily Ever After. So oh, happily never after. Happily never after. Yeah, happily ever after. Um, you get a chance. It's not a fireworks show you're getting. No, you're not. But we could sing for you. Wishes. <laughs> that's, that's about all that. that that's about all. Well, like, some cheer wine. Oh man, I, had, I I can go for some cheer wine. I want cheer wine. I want to do the cheer wine float with uh, the vanilla ice cream. It's amazing. Yes, it is. I've done. I made it at my house. It's good. Did I tell you they have a cheer wine funnel cake at the state fair here this year? Did you try it? What? I haven't been to the state fair, but I've heard a lot of people say it's it's pretty awesome. It's cheer wine. It has to be. But they don't actually, they didn't put like cheer wine in the batter. It's like a glaze they put over it. Oh, really? So mm. they, they said it, you don't get a strong cherry flavor. So it's more like a glazed donut with a cherry aftertaste kind of. Sign uh, me up. I still, cheer wine. To, I still want to try try the um, cheer um, wine Krispy Kreme. No, the Krispy Kreme burger. That I still want to oh. try. Uh, my uh, my brother said that's a must have every time he goes to the fair here. And I, I'm sorry, I haven't. That's one of those things I just can't. I want to try it. I don't know if I really want to spend the money on, but I'd like to try it. Mike McBride says he doesn't like cheer wine. Well, we don't like Mike McBride either. <laughs> Jesse, we like you. You had cheer wine today. There's there's very few things that Mike McBride likes. Brian Jenkins had one at the North Carolina Fair, and it was great. Oh, that's cool. At least he liked it. He's talking about the uh, the, the dessert the funnel. You have to go. You have to do the Dole Whip and pineapple upside down cake when y'all go. I was there two weeks ago, and I didn't have it. I'm kind of kind of um, lost my love for Dole Whip at the moment. I'm going to, I'm just going to go back to um, my citrus rolls. Citrus rolls forever. Krispy Kreme burgers are the best. So is it like, is it, is it really sweet? I'm just curious. Plaza ice cream parlor has a Krispy Kreme sundae that looks amazing. Huh? They do? They have Krispy Kreme at Disney? No. No way. I know Chef fine. Mickey's has Krispy Kreme. What? They do? Yeah. I didn't know that. I was just mm-hmm. there. Mike, Br- their donut, their donut holes are Krispy Kremes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Mike McBride, I like almost everything. Mike, that's not true. You like almost everything that's in Animal Kingdom. Everything outside, everything where the light doesn't touch, you don't like. <laughs> Interesting. I'll have to look into that, Ashley. Jesse is pretty much like eating diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. Um, is Scott still in the closet? Scott, are you still no. in the closet? You left no, the closet. Where are you tonight? I'm on my bed. You're on your bed? I'm on my bed. Wow. And the sign wow. in the back says, always kiss me goodnight. Yes, it does. Are you going to kiss me goodnight? You better believe I will. I'm also going <laughs> to leave my underwear in your bed. Oh, <laughs> oh, gross. What's up, Kelly? <laughs> I don't even know where Keith went. He, he's gone for a yeah, cold month. Yeah. Yeah. He, he gave up. Did he say that? Did he text us and say it's... Yeah, he, uh, he, he said it in a, a different way, but yes. <laughs> yeah. A roundabout way. He's, he's back right. to his Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Keith, if you're listening, he's probably not. He's try, um I think they have an app, too. But I'm not sure. Um, check, please. <laughs> awkward. Well, yeah, Scott always has to make it awkward. <laughs> I got to go there. Somebody has to. Yep. Normally um, it's Sean. I took it this time. Keith can join <laughs> the Yankees win. Yeah, he's not, he's, he's not too happy about that one. It's not looking too good for Houston. Got my cubbies. 
Cubs are, play done. Cubs are never done. We'll find out. Um, let's see. Anything else? Anybody else have any other questions before we end this evening's broadcast? Anyone in the market for a mattress? <laughs> nope. You're a couple mm. months too late there, Jesse. Yep, just bought mine. Do you have one to give away? I mean, I could use a new mattress. <laughs> Anyone that comments on this, Jesse is giving away a mattress tonight. <laughs> yeah, why, Scott? <laughs> oh, he works at a mattress company. I'm actually, we actually do want a new mattress, the mattress we have. We bought it from Sleepy's like three years ago, and it's just not comfortable. This broadcast needs more Tokyo. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, uh, I I don't know what to say about that. Like, tune in Tokyo? I don't know. No idea. Kelly just got one from Ikea. How long did it take you to put it together? That's what I'm saying. You <laughs> Here's your layer of foam. Here's the coils. Right, yeah. You got you to gotta pull the coils, stretch them out, and then you right. put them into the spot. Then try to fit everything in the casing. You can send me some details, Jesse. I don't know if I'll I'll, I'll do it, but you never know. Grease two, um, wow, that's like old school. Grease is the word. <laughs> I just turned from Disney to a mattress conversation. Well, because what happens is when you go to Disney and you sleep in one of the Disney hotels, you need a place to lay down, so we turn it to a mattress. Take Ryan, don't, the mattresses. For, don't forget about you sit on a throne of lies with Sean. Yes, he does sit on, sit on the throne of lies. <laughs> That's that was a, we will never forget. So I'm now I'm trying to remember. So, um, tuna Tokyo. Um, so the whole story was we were walking from the Polynesian, right? We were to the TTC. To the TTC. It was me, Scott, Brian, and Fred. Yes. And we stopped into a bathroom, and the guy, we're going, uh, using the urinals, and there's a guy in there talking on his cell phone and saying how expensive Disney was. He said, like, he got. Down in a stall. What's that? He was down in a stall. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was, and he's like, um, this is the most expensive place ever. It was like, like 1350 for a coffee. And he's like exaggerating everywhere, everything, like saying like, like the pirates came alive and everything. And I'm like, you're sitting on the throne of lies. And we're all just laughing hysterically <laughs> walking out of the game. And the guy's like, what? Who's that? Who? who? You know, it was just the funniest thing. Scott smells like beef and uh, cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, somebody give us a good question to end the show on <laughs> you may call me star lord that's fine Brian I figured somebody would have something don't forget how Sean is a crocodile <laughs> my god right, here's another one this is, the, this is another good one um yeah, Disney is expensive, right, Eric? Um, so we were at – you weren't with us, Scott, but it was me, Brian, and Fred, and we're, we're walking at Coronado back to our room. And there's guys in front of us who um, – they were, I guess they were trying to figure out how to get back to their room, right? And they're asking us, like, where we – we're telling them, like, um, where to go and whatnot because they, they were at a, con a convention. And – the guy's talking to me. And he's like, oh, so what do you, where are you guys from? I'm like, oh, I'm from New Jersey. He's like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, oh, I'm a crocodile wrestler. <laughs> like, a crocodile wrestler? I'm like, yeah. So How now, drunk were you? I, oh, it was stone cold sober. I was, I think it was, we were freezing too, because it was like, it was like, <laughs> we're freezing. It was 65 degrees at, at Disney Springs. <laughs> you sound like me now. Uh huh. And we, oh, we only had short sleeve shirts, and it has long sleeve shirts. So, you know, being in the 70s temperatures, it got to 65 and we're chilly. So we ended up going back to the resort. And I'm telling the guy, like, how I, like, wrestled crocodiles. And because he was like, there's like, he was like, there's no way you can swim across the, the water there without getting attacked by a crocodile. I'm like, oh, Disney takes care of that. Anything under four feet, they let stay there. Anything over four feet, you know, they take away. But the four foot ones, man, they're easy, man. You just smack them in the nose and and they'll and they'll run away. You don't have to worry about that. You can swim across the water, no problem. And this guy's like amazing. And I'm like, I'm really this like crocodile wrestler. 
He's like, well, you just crocodiles <laughs> in New Jersey? I'm like, oh, yeah, we ship them in from Florida. I come to Florida to, like, train them and, and take care of them. And this guy's like – his, his friends are like pulling him along, but all this guy wants to hear about is me wrestling with Crockett. And I'm just making things up. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I used to be friends with like Steve Irwin and we used to talk about wrestling Crockett. Like, I'm just making this stuff up left and right. Brian is like laughing hysterically, just like trying to stay away. And Fred is just doing whatever Fred's doing. But like this guy just could not have enough. And it was just the funniest thing. We were just laughing so hard. Yeah, the guy was amazed. Brian's like, he was the guy was seriously amazed. Like, how can I seriously be wrestling alligators? And stop texting, guys. Look at me. I'm talking to you. Um, <laughs> I can hear. <laughs> I try not to look at you as often as I can. It, it was just it's just so funny. What you should have done is actually jumped in the water then. Um, I should have. I thought about that. Unless you try to slap a four foot alligator. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there was one, I probably would have jumped on top of it. Right? There's there's plenty in that lake. Yeah. Um, Jesse said, if you could choose one, would you rather visit the parks blind or deaf? I've always said I prefer to be. I th- oh, you know what? I'd still want to see it all. No, I don't know. That's tough. Um, I'm just going to say. You'd miss the music, but you'd also have all the screaming kids and people yelling and. Yeah, I guess deaf. Because I could see where I was going. I wouldn't have to rely on anything. I wouldn't be able to see. What was the best table service meal you've ever had? What did you order? Um, that's a good question. Best table service? I can say one of the best I probably had was when paddlefish used to be Fulton's, I had some of the best um, steak and lobster there. I'm going to probably say Coral Reef way many, 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 many years ago, like 2002-ish, something like that, getting um, Chef Special because it was the end of the night and they just put things together because we it was like late at night and they just – put stuff together that they normally weren't doing. So they were getting rid of things and it was incredible. That was great. That was just a special occasion. And Matt fell asleep. Favorite land in MK. <laughs> I, I just, my answer. He's trying to remember the chef's table. Yeah. I, okay. I don't know exactly what I had, but I mean, that would, that's a no brainer. Um, favorite land in MK. It's hard because nighttime and daytime are two separate things. Probably Adventureland at night in Main Street, USA during the day, I think. Okay, so do it this way. If you day oh, you're in one land day through night, which one which one would you pick to stay in the whole time? Pandora. Uh, nighttime? No, the, the whole time. You're spending the whole all day, day in one part, in one land, in one park. All day. I can't leave that land? Correct. Pandora. Well, he's, he's, you're saying Magic Kingdom. Yeah, or anywhere. Magic Kingdom. Um, Tomorrowland. That's hard. I mean, you'd have to probably New Fantasyland. Or just fantasy land in general, because there's probably Sean, more things to do. Sean would never get off the Little Mermaid ride. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Yeah, Frontier Land, I think, would be the one I'd pick. I'd do Tomorrowland. I think at night it's one of the coolest. And you've got TTA, and you can see so much of the park from there. Yeah, TTA is great. What do you think about the ultimate Christmas package that they just rolled out for Walt Disney World a couple days ago? Is that the one that we talked about on the news show last week? No, that was the gifting people. Right. I saw it. I didn't look much into it. I don't know. You know, my wife's a teacher. I have no options of going anywhere around Christmas time. So I don't even know what it is. Well, that's the one where um, I think they deliver it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about it, actually. 
Oh. Prepackaged called last night, and the cheapest rate was four thousand for Saratoga Springs. Grand oh. Floridian was fifty three hundred. Yeah, I don't know anything about it because I've been busy the last few days, so I I haven't heard about it. I have to look into it more. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Whoa, that's expensive. Well, thank you. No more moderate resorts? And, and just in that package or? Play marry date dump using your co-host. So I'm marrying Keith because we don't have to make love and he can cook. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll date Matt because he's he's short. And it's called cuddle. fun sized. Use the proper term. Size. We can cuddle better, and I'll dump Scott just because because Scott can't cook, and he only eats chicken, and he's not cuddly like I like, to cook. like Matt. Night, Stephen. <laughs> Scott, are you saying Pandora? Because you're pretty much spending half the day waiting in line. <laughs> For flights of passage, yeah, it's, it's my uh, wine waiting, wine line waiting service that I've got. Stephen Blackwell, fun size is a lie. Jesse, they said it would be like one person <laughs> per person per night for a family of four. Yeah, I, I think that was like a limited of like two rooms. That's why. Fun size is a half pound of Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I think that's all I have for tonight. Yes, sir. Now, this went longer than I thought. I thought we talked like for like five minutes. Do we ever talk for just five minutes? Sometimes. We do can't we even do a seven-minute show in seven minutes. minutes. No, I know. We, we <laughs> try. We tried. Thank you, everybody, for coming on tonight. And don't forget, leave your comment in there for a chance to win a bag of Trader Sam's coffee straight to your house. And Scott will deliver it. If you're in the Orlando in the Orlando area, I'll bring it to your house. But maybe Matt will bring it to your house if you're in the North Carolina area. Sure, Why he'll not? run it to your house like Forrest. Yeah, it'll take him a few hours, but you can you, you hear you go. I was running. I'm kind of tired. I think I go home now. <laughs> <laughs> These are my magic shoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad everybody's enjoying it. It's just. I don't know. It's just something we started on a whim last week. We said, oh, yep. we'll just do it. We're going to try to do it every Wednesday. We'll try. Nashville is near NC. Yeah, I'm not running through the mountains to get to Nashville. Sorry. I'll pay to <laughs> see that. Can we do that? Can we start like uh, a donation for you to run to do that? Where in NC? I'm right outside of Raleigh, uh, Garner area. Perfect price for someone with a normal newborn. Yep. I remember those days. Scott's like a newborn to us. Yep. Uh, I'm right down the road from, from you then, Brian. Then you're going to run to his house. Sure. Well, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have a North Carolina meetup. We have so many listeners in, in your area. We try. We've yeah. done it for you. Yeah. I, I get Mike McBride by me. That's my... <laughs> Listen to my name. So, all right, I'm going to end it now. So, um, farewell, adios, and have a magical night. Goodbye. Good night. Burlington. All kinds of NC people. We're still live. Yes, we are still live because I can't end it. <laughs> <laughs> he also didn't start it. Yeah, we fool you. <laughs> <laughs>